2,823 seniors have died. 13 staff members have died over the past year and a half. And the cause of these deaths, I know it says COVID, but Speaker, what I want to argue is that the cause was greed. It was the current state of long-term care that caused the death of these people. We saw this in Scarborough, whether it was Tender Care Midland Gardens, Craig Lee. At the height of the crisis, families at Tender Care called on our office. We're not, they're not even Scarborough Southwest, but they called our office and we had an emergency town hall. We've had many town halls, but we had one emergency town hall just for Tender Care. And I met with many of, of the families and we even called on the Minister of Long-Term Care to join us, but she did not show at that time. We heard from family members like Reed. Reed told us about his grandmother who cried on the phone asking for water, speaker water. And that morning of our town hall early in the new year, she died. Imagine, imagine having your loved one or you yourself ending up in a place where you spend your last breath calling for water and there is no one to answer speaker. Reed's grandma's story is not isolated. I have heard from so many families, hundreds and hundreds of family members. Speaker, the problem was not COVID. It is systemic problem of profit. For so many decades, we have prioritized profit of over care of our seniors. The problem was decades of underfunding, under regulations with the profit oriented homes that prioritize their own dividends. They deliberately kept the staffing levels low. That's why Reed's grandmother, like so many others, died during this pandemic and prior. Meanwhile, three of the largest long-term care corporations gave out dividends of $171 million. Speaker, here we are debating about the fact that we should not be giving away money to profit-oriented corporations that were the cause of the death of so many of our loved ones. So I'm calling on the government speaker to listen to us because what we're asking for is, is a better system of quality care. Imagine having long-term care where it's about seniors who can stay home and more PSWs and nurses can actually come and give the care that they need. Imagine having non-profit care homes where you can have the care that our seniors need.